hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in i appreciate you happy new year well it's been a while <laughs> thank you for stopping by i do appreciate you well while the year started on a good note for some people well it started on a bad note for others we have heard so many terrible news since the year began but this incident didn't happen in january anyway it happened in december but we got to hear of it this january it happened um, uh, on December 9, yes. Can you see this couple? Look at these two beautiful people. Look at the man, look at the wife. They are so beautiful. When I saw the, these pictures, I said, wow, what a beautiful couple. I didn't even know that the woman was no more until I read the story. You have, maybe you have heard the story or you're just hearing it for the first time. They said this woman, this man by the, 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 the wife over a loaf of bread. Can you imagine? Sounds so silly, honestly. The, the wife asked the husband for money to buy bread for the children, a loaf of bread for the children to have their breakfast. The man said, I don't have money. Well, the, she now bought the bread, kept it in the kitchen. Maybe she was doing other things. She found that when she, it was time for them to eat, she found out that the man had eaten the bread. Can you imagine? What an irresponsibility. He has eaten the bread. The woman was like, why? What happened? Why did he eat the bread? The man now pounced on her and uh, beat her and uh, the rest. Well, is, he, is, is, uh, is history. The man said he didn't do that, that he didn't beat his wife. That actually he had only beaten his wife once, only once, since they got married 15 years ago. They, they have been married for 15 years. So he said it's, it's, it's only once that he beat the wife. That he didn't beat the wife. Although he admitted that some, a loaf of bread was involved, he said the woman asked for bread, money to buy bread, which he provided. But she was asking for more money to buy other things. You know, when you buy bread, you will buy tea now. Are you know that they are children? Are you not going to hand over bread to them and say, okay, you go and eat the bread and drink water? Know that this man lives in Lagos. He lives and works in Lagos. But the family is in Enugu. You know, when daddy is around, things need to change. Oh, daddy is around now. We will need this. Maybe they will, you have to fry egg and you do tea or there will be butter. You know, when daddy is around, things will not be the same. So the, so the woman said, uh -uh. This, uh, the man was saying, you know, that he gave the, the wife money to buy bread. But the woman was asking for other things. And not only that, she was insulting him on top of that. So he got angry. But even the son that was for, uh, that is 14 years uh, was also insulting him. So he got angry and beat the boy. Then he also got angry and broke the mirror. The mirror now went and cut the wife's hand. What kind of anger is that? Maybe, is it a, a, a standing mirror? Did you use um, a stone to, to throw at the, at, the, at the mirror for the mirror to now go and injure somebody that was sitting somewhere? This story, you know, it doesn't add up at all. He said he provided the money. Bros, you have five children. Everybody knows that bread is expensive. To get a reasonable loaf of bread that could, that, you know, maybe three people could eat and say, okay, we have eaten bread, at least you have nothing less than, you have at least spent between 800 and 1,200 to get a loaf of bread. How many slices do you have in a loaf of bread? Some will have 17 slices, some will have 18 slices, and you have five children. And you have five, four boys and one girl. And you know how boys eat. Are you, are you not telling us that a loaf of bread will be enough for those children? No tea, no butter, no egg, nothing. And daddy, daddy was around. Nobody mandated you to have five children you on your own you had five children you should take care of them when somebody talks that they say are you god no i am not god but you ought to have done family planning if it, if you, if it is two people that you you will be able to buy a loaf of bread for you you have two two children if it is one have one don't get angry when they tell you to bring money for your children to eat nobody forced you to have them it is a mark of irresponsibility for any man to get angry when they say, bros, bring money for, for, for food. You should bring money, you should gladly bring money. All the way from Lagos, you got some only to beat your wife and your, chi and your child. You are telling us that you have only beaten the woman once. So you, you even beat her. 
How can you look at this beautiful woman and you're beating her? The woman, maybe she has been enduring, you know. And some women are in uh, relationships, they are enduring domestic violence. And you tell them to speak up, they will not speak up. They say, marriage is for better, for worse. Is your life not important? Nobody said you should leave your husband. Nobody said you should run away. Even some men are in, in relationships that they have been abused. Why can't you speak out and get help? Like this man. This man needs to undergo anger management course. Of course he needs it. Because he's like, he's always very angry. You're beating your 14-year-old old, old son because you, maybe the boy would have, they, they was telling him, Papa, don't beat our mother. Don't beat our mother. And he, he, you pounce on the boy. Child abuse. It's for you to take care of your children, save guide them. You are, you are molesting them, you are abusing them, you are beating them. Anyhow, what did the boy do to you? Well, the, the lady's brother said that um, the woman was crying and called them. When they got to her house, they found, they found that she had wounds all over. They wanted to take her to the hospital. She refused. That. She said that she would take um, medication. That on another occasion, she called them again crying. Now, this time around, they took her to the clinic, yes? They took her to the clinic and uh, from there they took her to another clinic. That was where she now died. The mother said this man was not around when the, the daughter had injuries. When the daughter was crying and calling them to come and take her to the clinic. But the man said that he was the one that took the wife to the clinic that he took the wife, that he was in the village. Maybe after, after breaking the mirror and everything, he went to the village. He's from Okonano. Maybe he went to the village, and while he was in the village, he said that they called him, that his wife was not feeling well. He came and took her to the hospital, and they, from that hospital, he took her to UNTH, and they told, told him that um, the, 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 wife, the wife, they confirmed the wife dead. That they said that the wife died uh, because she had internal, internal bleeding caused by hypertension. But the mother said they had not, they have, they, that they are yet to have an autopsy. They have not had an autopsy. She, she said that she wants, she wants, um, she wants justice. Yes. Who would, who would say that? She wants justice. Some people are saying that this had happened in a... Uh, uh, Enugu. Some are saying it happened in Lagos. The family is yet to make um, is yet to make an official statement on the incident. But a, a source close to the family, according to the Punch, confirmed that the incident took place in Lagos. You see, this is terrible. Please, husbands, take care of your children. Take care of your children. Take care of your wives. If it's one child that you can, you can take care of, have one. There's no need to have your five children when you can have one. Beating your wife unnecessarily. Beating your children because of anger. This man has anger issues. Definitely he does. He has anger issues. How can you be this handsome, this fine, and you be, you be, you be dragging issues with, with, with anger? That's not nice. It's not, it's not fair. Whether he took her to the hospital or he didn't take her to the hospital or the family took her to the hospital, one fact has been established. This woman died over a loaf of bread, which is very, very shameful. Bread for the children two of us have together to eat. Bread that I said, okay, bring money so that I will get something for our children to eat. When, when, when you don't have enough food in the house, it's the parents that will stay without food. The children must eat. Even if it's small food, they will, gather, they will gather around the place or something and eat the food. The parents will just sit down like, oh, it's okay, we'll drink water. It's the children first. It's only an irresponsible parent that will, that will eat food meant for the children and be proud of it. No, you take care of the children first. Then you can now handle your own hunger. You can eat anything. If you like, just carry it and put it in your mouth and chew. And drink water then you're on, on the go whatever but the children has to be taking they, they have to be taken care of first and that was what the woman was trying to do you bite your bread no tea you want them to eat it you, you get angry when they say bring more money but they, 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 according to the, the story the man didn't bring the money it was the wife that bought it whether the wife bought it or the man bought it they are they shouldn't have had any issues over this 
The children just buy tea. You know, all this, everything is expensive. Breakfast is an expensive meal now. You plan it well and take care of your family. This thing that a little thing, something that is nothing, somebody will just carry carry an object, somebody will just bring something, knife or a pestle or something and hit another, another. It's not nice. That means this anger has been building up a long time ago, but you have not had the opportunity to express it. Once an opportunity presents itself, maybe the person didn't give you good money, Piam, you will carry it out. Then it will clear you for eye, say you don't do something bad. Now these children don't have a, don't have a mother, they will also not have a father because this man will go in for it. The family will not just fold their hands and be waiting for, for him. They can't. They also will demand justice. And that is it. You see how this, you see what they have done to these children? Five. And you know, relations, no relation will take five children. Five uh, children of someone else. No. They will share that you go to Kafanchai, you go for you go to Jerusalem, you go to Jericho, you go to this place, you go to that place, and that is it. Please let us be careful. If you have if you're angry or something, you can leave the scene and come back later. Let us manage our anger. Let us show love. We need it too. We need it. Everybody needs love. Show the children love. If you have been showing your children love, the boy will not uh, be angry. The, the boy will not join the mother, like the man said, to insult him. No, if you have been showing love to your children, they will not do anything like that. Children are not stupid. They, are, they see things that are happening. They, want, they don't want you to molest their mother. Please, let us be careful. Men, please be careful. Women, please be careful. Let's take care of children. Take care of the ones you can, you can give birth to the ones you can take care of. Four boys, again. Four boys, one person. Take it easy, please. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. If you're here for the first time, I appreciate you. Please try and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell. So each time I upload a new video, you will be notified. God bless you. Please stay safe. Bye.